Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Victoria Cole here. So excited that you decided to tune in. Today I wanted to talk about my hair. Some of you have been asking me about how I infused purple into my hair. And so today we're gonna be talking about my hair. If you are interested in knowing how I do my purple hair here at home, uh, please keep watching. All right, so the first step that you need to know is that I do not mess with bleach. Uh, I've done it several times, I have burned my hair, and I know that there are a lot of stylists that are saying hallelujah out there because um, I think bleach is just such a delicate chemical uh, because you're stripping your hair and so I would leave it to a professional to do it because you don't know the state of your hair. Um, so unless you are a hairdresser and you do it at home yourself, I don't know if I'd recommend using bleach by yourself. But in order for you to have infused color into your hair, you have to have some kind of a blonde, so kind of like a canvas for you to be able to paint on, like the white canvas. So the first thing you want to do is make sure that you bleach your hair, uh, but of course I would go and consult with your professional um, hairdresser, that way they know what your hair is, uh, how long they need to keep that chemical in. Um, as I don't know if some of you have seen my pictures before, I had like a sombre effect going on, so it was blonde here, and then it transitioned back to my color. So this is actually, my root color is actually my natural hair color. So instead of coloring my hair like I would all the time, I mean I had it red, I had it like a dark brown, I had it black at one time, I had it purple, uh, like a deep plum purple. So instead of coloring my whole hair, I decided to do something like this after I was blonde for a little bit. I think doing the blonde kind of helped my hair be a little bit more uh, manageable since my hair is so fine. Uh, it was really hard to do any kind of updos because it would just fall apart and anybody that has fine hair knows exactly what I'm talking about uh, but ever since I did bleach um, it was some kind of a different bleach that they used it wasn't like a typical kind of bleach that they use uh, it was like a line that this particular salon that I went to in Johns Creek at Georgia um, that they used and it was actually it turned out really well because usually when I do bleach my hair gets really damaged fairly quickly so um, this one did not hurt it as bad. So I had that blonde for like two to three months and then I decided to try out with some color and purple is the color that I wanted to go with. So I'm going to show you the product that I used um, to get my purple hair. This is called Maniac Panic. I got this from Sally's. It's a, it comes in a jar. Um, it is vegan, which is really cool for your hair. Um, it gives you all the directions on the jar, but this is the purple um, in the jar. And I bought it, I think it was like $5 maybe. And it will last you a long time because I have to keep reinfusing my hair since every time you wash your hair, you will wash off a lot of this color. Um, so it's really easy to do. You don't have to keep it in your hair for too long. Uh, but again, it really depends how blonde your hair are. Uh, your blonde is. Like for example, if you you have like a really like a blonde blonde, uh, then this purple will definitely be a, an extreme like deep purple, exactly what it looks like in the jar. Mine was more like a dirty ash brown, so it took on the purple, but not as much. And what I like about it is every time I do wash my hair, it kind of fades off. Um, it kind of starts uh, having like blue tones, and then it turns into more like a green tone, and then more like into like an ash blonde which is really cool. So I try to do it maybe every two weeks because it washes out and then it's just not looking really good with the transition. So I just infused my hair today and that's why I wanted to do this video for you guys so you can see how it looks from the beginning. And I've experimented several things um, while doing this. Before I just kind of put it all over, um, you know, just my bottom not the roots, but the, just the bottom of my hair, and just let it sit there for about, you know, 30 minutes or so. But um, today I actually used tin foil and separated by sections. And I think with the tin foil, what happens is it takes on the um, heat from your scalp, scalp, 
it's so hard for me to pronounce that word, I don't know why. Um, and it kind of helps to process the hair a little bit quicker. So I've noticed that it, my hair actually turned out a little bit of more of a deeper purple, which is really, really cool because it's going to last a little bit longer. So you can just get gloves. Make sure you're in an area where uh, you're not going to paint the sink purple. If you do, like, you know, make a splotch, make sure you wash it off so it's not hard to wash off the sink. But um, if you do get it on something like a, you know, floor or the sink, you can use Kaboom. It has bleach. If you just spray it, let it sit there for a few minutes uh, and then just rinse it off, it usually gets, it uh, usually does the trick. But I bought this bowl. This is the bowl that I used to color my hair with, and then of course my little brush. You can take the product out and put it in here, and then whenever I did my tin foil, um, I used the brush just like they do at a salon to kind of make sure that my top few layers really were infused with purple. The bottom I didn't worry about so much because I didn't have that much blonde at the bottom, and I just kind of ran my fingers through with this purple product. But again, I'm not even halfway through this jar, and I've already used it about three to four times. So I really, really, really like this product and it's uh, super fun to condition my hair or just to kind of help my hair look shiny. I use, of course, my Morgan oil very little since my hair is fine. I just kind of press the bottle against my palm and then just flip it over and I usually get like, you know, maybe two, two little dots and I kind of warm it around in my fingers and then spread it all over my hair and um that's it but it really the whole product is actually very moisturizing it smells really pleasant it almost smells like cash shampoo so it's not it doesn't stink it's not you know strong smell um as to you know your colorants or your bleaches so it, it was a lot of fun to do and so i'm gonna probably do it for a little bit um see how much longer i can um enjoy this color and enjoy this look but so far that's what i've been doing and i hope that helps you a lot but just remember that bleach uh, strips your hair uh, so if you have really dark hair uh, like black brown you don't have any kind of blonde in it whatsoever no streaks no nothing you will have to probably go to a salon and get that bleach before you can do the color at home by yourself i definitely don't recommend do, to do it at home um and then, of course, if you do have streaks in your hair already, and if you have like brown or dark black uh, hair and you just have a little bit of blonde streaks, what it will do is just kind of give you a little bit of those purple uh, undertones in your hair, which can look really cool as well. So just as long as you have blonde, it will work, but I definitely will not recommend you to do it at home. Um, but that's pretty much it. So if you guys um have any other questions for me make sure you list it down below in the comment section um, if you've tried it before or you know some other tips and tricks i would love to know about and make sure that you comment below and tell me your suggestions um, but as always create culture and be you and i'll see you next time in my next video bye guys